Uh, that, that looks a little funky. Uh, what's up, everybody? My name is Coalfire, and welcome to Submerged. Now, I think I remember seeing good old Marky Pooper playing this a good while ago, but it was just re-released on Itch.io, and I wanted to give it a try. I uh, completely have forgotten what it is about, and it's been a very long time since I saw that video, and uh, I, I have a feeling it has to do with something underwater. But let's let's just go. Okay, adjust adjust the slider until the door is barely visible. Barely visible? Is my monitor just super fucking bright? I can see that perfectly. Okay, I guess we're going completely dark. Time for spoops. Oh. Okay. So, uh, am I the only one down here? I feel like I might be. Pick up oxygen mask? Ah, there we go. E, okay. Uh, O2 is 99. You must get out. All right. Uh, if nobody else is here, who wrote that on my mask? Who wrote that on the masky mask? Uh, okay, so what's the deal? High voltage, keep away. Save your breath. Alright, um, those are bottles. It looks like I need a fuse. There we go. Let's put you in there. Awesome. Uh, it looked like there was a note here. Uh, was this blood? There, just a second ago? I don't know if it was. Date, uh, December 6th, 1965. I can't believe it. I just finished nuke school. The last 18 months have been a blur of white walls and fluorescent lights. I've never experienced anything like it. Out of 20 guys who started, only 11 finished. Sad about Mike diving like that from third story window. Guess the pressure hits everyone differently. Got a letter yesterday saying I've qualified for my first watch. Feeling proud that I am no longer uh, an N-U-B? H. Anderson. Alright. Cool. Radio? Alright. That didn't sound like it was me. Hydraulic fluid. Motor? Motor, you good? Alright, cool. What's going on out here? Do I have a flashlight? I don't think I do. I must get out. Is that me just like thinking to myself? Is that like my own thoughts being described or shown to me as like riding on the foggy mask? Also, why do I have a little, like, uh, vacuum tube or a light bulb on my mask? The path is clear. All right, cool. Well, let's uh, keep on keeping on then. Oh, do I have to fix that? I can't go past it? Uh, it looks like a very relaxing white mist. Nothing dangerous about that. Oh. There we go. Uh, was that my mouse that did that? That was a little funky. Do, do, do. Okay, that one can't be opened. Why do we need so much hydraulic fluid? Also, uh, didn't realize my oxygen was decreasing. Don't think? Do I need to go back to that main room to get some of my, my glorious O2 back? Is that what I'm supposed to be wary of right now. I'll go back when I hit 50%. Oh, oxygen canister. Sweet. So, ah, door controls. So is that just for this door then? Cool. So what? what's the overall goal here? I honestly think I remember seeing a different video. What was that click? Keep going? Okay. 
also, why did that door just open in front of me? That's loud. That's really loud. I, uh, I'm not do doing too hot on oxygen right now. Can I... can I get another canister? Please? Oh, sweet. I thought that was an arm or something. My wishes have been granted. Okay, button? Are you literally just a button? I can't push you. Uh, mend that which is bro. Oh! You put the valve on... You put the round peg on the square peg and it, it closes the hole. Brilliant! Brilliant! I miss those commercials. I really miss those Guinness commercials. I thought they were pretty fucking funny. Uh, fuse, in case we might need it. Are these radios going to be important at some point? Your mind lies. Alright. Uh, fixy facts? What the fuck was that? Oh, what's up, Goopy Goo? Hi there. Uh, oh. So now we're dealing with some, like, environmental changes. Okay. Yes, Boopy? What's going on? Broken lever. Okay, so we have a broken lever and a broken valve. Can't open that. Uh, so, I'm wondering how much has changed. Oxygen, thank goodness. Uh, flow valve. Why do the doors keep closing behind me? That's what I want to know. Sweet. And then we get our lever. Why do I have a feeling things might have changed again? Does sprinting use more oxygen than walking? I have a lot of questions. Uh, that seems to be my, my primary mode of discussing what's going on in the game. Is asking questions that I will have no answers to. Uh, escape? Alright, I can do that. Is, is there some sort of like new precedent for that? Something going on? Alright, so we have oxygen, exploder, electricity lever, door controls. What? Button? What, what doth button do? Okay... I might be a wee bit confuzzled as to what I am supposed to be doing here. Do I... I don't have any tools, so what if I do a little... Okay, so what, did that actually turn things on? So we can push this down? Beautiful. Is there something in there? Oh, it was a bunch of oxygen? Okay, cool. At least now we know where that is. Uh, so, the missing lever goes here. Oxygen lever. Oxygen exploder? So... Oxygen lever? Oxygen exploder. Maybe? No. Ah, was that it? Sounded like it was it. So then we turn off oxygen and oxygen exploder. We fill up. And then we can come over here. It does seem like sprinting uses the same amount of oxygen. Okay, so if this is all good then, can I... No, that is not what I want. I want this. Perfect. Oh, is that light bulb an indicator of whether or not there is oxygen in the environment? Wrench? Hi, Wrench. 
Um. Am I just just working my way through all of this? Oh, we have no oxygen again. Okay, uh, I guess we're just moving forward then. Okay, that is a broken container that something very well might have left. I don't like the idea of that. Yeah, I see that. Well, it got out, but, you know, a bunch of air might have gotten in as well. Uh, subject, stimulating test subject. Subject 72, Dr. A.G. Killy. After extensive testing, we have found out the test subject 72 is completely blind, but has an incredible sense of movement. Test subject shows high aggression when faced with high-pitched noises. Note incident log 500 log 128. 8.64 for further references look under order something zero five something one zero zero nine breached annihilate on when weapons almost ready for deployment okay so if it's around don't move Is that it that I hear squishing about? Maybe. I don't know, just the fact that now we know that there's a monster afoot. I don't want to look. What? Is that it? Was there actually something there? I'm not doing too hot on O2, everyone. Is this a perpetual hallway? I don't think it is. No, it's not. Can I please have some oxygen? I'm kind of in a desperate need. I also wonder if the game... Why? has a save system. I've been submerged for a week now. I knew they would be keeping oxygen under what we... keeping the oxygen under what we are used to on the surface for fire prevention. I had read about the effects, but actually experiencing it is harder than I thought. I'm always tired, and it seems that everything is getting on my nerves. I'm not the only one, though. Joey threw a coffee cup at one of the navigators for walking too slowly. I hope that I get used to it sooner rather than later. Mr. Anderson. What? Okay, it looks like it's over there. I... I... Okay, we have oxygen in here. Also... Why doesn't my oxygen refill? Okay, I see you there. So it looks like we are in a maze of sorts. Can I just... Can I just go this way? Is that acceptable? Or do I have to go through? I'm gonna assume that I have to go through. Maybe? Hi, friend. I kind of wish I could zoom in on you, see what you were. So... Is there a decent way around this thing? Or do I really just have to, like, walk right the F up to it? Don't mind me, I'm just gonna scoot on by. Okay, yep, you found me. Cool. Alright, how far back are we? Mm, okay, we're right back here. Cool, that's not too bad then. So, do I need to find a way around the damn thing, or... Am I supposed to, like, lure it out, or... I don't know, it's... 
It, it seems like I might be able to, like, lure it back a little bit. So, oh, are you actually moving around now? Yeah, okay. What happened to you, Brosif? Why are you limping? Uh, where are we going? This way? Yeah. Alright. Oh, cool, the door... Oh, okay. Hmm. Is that... Is it still coming after me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is, if we really are submerged, where the fuck are we trying to escape to? Alright, that's fine. Do -do -do -do. Free us? So... Control room... Torpedo room... Unknown room. Unknown room. If they really are submerged, wouldn't they be in, like, a hyperbaric state? No okay. What if we go... The torpedo room? Oh, this doesn't look good. No. All right. Uh, no what? Self-destruct? Oh, okay. So, oh, I was thinking maybe I just get into the torpedo tube, launch myself. So, before we go on, the thing about being extremely deep in the ocean is that you're dealing with ridiculously high pressures. And... In doing so, it can cause gaseous nitrogen to dissolve into your blood with, uh, when it's at normal atmospheric concentrations. So the deeper you go, you usually use higher and higher oxygen concentrations to, to deal with that effect. Um, otherwise, when you resurface, you get the bends, which is either extremely painful or it can kill you. So... I, I understand that maybe a low oxygen environment is good for fires, but that's also why you have bulkheads, right? Because when you're down this deep, if you wanted to resurface for any reason, it would take a very, very long time in lots of hyperbaric chambers to get that gaseous nitrogen out of your blood so that you can return to normal atmospheric Release pressures. Us. Release who? The monster? What, what, are the, what are my options here? Periscope. Oh shit, we're right next to a city. So if we're not deep, then why the fuck is there an oxygen issue? Also, why do the frames keep skipping? Resurface. Fuck no, I... self-sacrifice. Is there anything on the radio this time? My favorite channel. Yeah, I'm gonna blow us the fuck up. Fuck this place. I'm getting the hell out of here. Boop. Uh, get over it, motherfucker! I'm... I'm for the safety of mankind over the safety of myself. At least in this situation. Uh, don't know if I could... I could do the same thing in real life. Hmm, I don't know. Uh, should I be expecting that damn thing to explode or something? Okay. Oh, cool. I, uh, I almost want to play through it again just to see what the other ending is. So give me a sec. Torpedo room, control room. There we go. That only took me four and a half minutes. Yeah, okay. Boop. Well done. Let's see what happens. Nothing will remain after this. So what the hell are you? Is the thing I want to know. Oh. 
Well. Ten out of ten. Yeah, just yep, absolutely perfect. Um, you know, being honest, it was all right. the The sound design was really nice. I think my second time through, um, understanding the the deaths didn't really carry a whole bunch of weight, and uh, I think the footstep scene the audio plays on character location, so it always sounds like it's catching up to you no matter what. Clever trick, but I, I think it uh, it kind of kills the suspense on the second playthrough, and a game with two endings needs to have some replayability, I would think, because uh, people are going to want to see the other side of it. So... I, I really liked a lot of the sound design and the idea of presenting the player with the information that they need on the the gas mask. I think it was pretty clever. I did like that, but I think the the monster was a little too low res to be really that freaky, and the classic like fixed camera face focus on the damn thing it was kind of cheesy I I can see I, I can't remember where when this came out honestly so for a game that may be a couple of years old I can't hold that much against it but I'd be curious to see what these devs have done since then uh, I also don't know why there's so many credits it looks like a lot of them are great temple of making games PC lab at school yeah so uh, God for not existing, God for existing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so... I, I think it works well on a first playthrough, but any kind of replayability kind of kills it. But at the same time, I don't think a lot of horror games do hold up on a second playthrough, so that can't really be something I hold against this. But this has been Submerged. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Coldfire, and I will see you next time.